Good evening. In this video, I will break down the footage of Justin Fields' thumb injury and link it with the relevant anatomy of his thumb. As you continue to watch, I will describe what has happened and what needs to happen in order for Justin to return to play. Welcome, my name is Dr. Stephen Wilson, and the purpose of this channel is for the edutainment of sports injuries. As we know, on Sunday afternoon, Justin Fields was tackled from behind and he fell onto his outstretched hand, resulting in a dislocated thumb on his throwing hand. Reports indicate that the dislocation was reduced and popped back in. He was not able to return to play because he could not get a grip on the football. And there is a good reason for this. Your thumb can dislocate when a strong enough force pushes the bone out of its normal position within the joint, and in order for this to occur, basically all the surrounding connective tissue must either stretch or tear. Both are incredibly painful and are obviously problematic, especially for his throwing hand. Essentially, there are two main joints in your thumb that can typically dislocate. As you can see on the screen here, the most commonly is the metacarpal phalangeal joint, which is a hinge joint, and with this the ulnar collateral ligament is damaged and often torn. Yeah, that would be painful. Otherwise, the carpal metacarpal joint can also be dislocated, it just does not happen as often. It is a saddle joint, so therefore there is more movement and more range of motion, and this would end up being a worse injury as there is more stabilizing connective tissue to damage. Anytime there is a significant stretch or tearing of ligaments or connective tissue, this will automatically create laxity or excess movement within the joint space. For this to occur on the thumb of a throwing hand of an NFL quarterback, that is not good news. Surgery is probable in order to address and repair these issues. Justin Fields will be out of action for at least four weeks in order to allow time for healing to occur. The pending results of his MRI will also help to determine if surgery is needed or not, and what is the reasonable timeline for his return. For future videos, please like and subscribe.